this tutorial, I'm going to show you how can we apply template matching to detect multiple similar objects in an image. So let's see what actually we want to achieve. In this tutorial, I will show you how can we use the template matching to detect multiple objects. In previous video, I shown you how only single object can be matched using template matching. And now we can extend it to find multiple matches. So uh, I have created a project. So in the feature 2D and in the template matching, let me add a new menu and name it multi-object detection. Double click on it and let me write the code here. So first I will do the try and catch and uh, I will write a message box to display any if there is any error message and uh, the first thing that I need to check is I have some picture in my uh, picture box if it is not there it will return and also we will check that some sort of uh, region of interest has already been selected so we will be able to check let me create a method for processing it so private void apply multi object detection template matching tm And uh, I also need a parameter uh, for which we can use as a threshold for selecting uh, the similar objects because we want to display more than one match so we can apply a threshold on it. So let me say float threshold and a default value I say 0 0.1. So let us write a try cage block if in case if we have an error or exception and in this case I will throw this exception new exception ex dot message so that it will be caged if there is any exception it will be caged in the calling method and let me call this method and we are using the default value. So the first thing that I will do is create a variable and read the uh, original or scene image from my list dictionary and I use this index input dot clone so that I will not change the original image. And also I will read the image so variable template from the picture box so this way I can read it new bitmap and here I can picture box one dot image and since I need it as an EMG UCV uh, object so two image and it should be a BGR and its depth is in bytes. Now I will create uh, a, another mate object This will be used to store the results of the template match. So now I am going to do the template match CV invoke dot match template. And this one is expecting the input image. So this is the uh, image scene where we are going to search for the template. Next parameter is the template itself. And third one is the output where we are going to store the results. So IMG out. Then there are various matching types. So I'm just selecting uh, square differences. I just need to normalize the output. Since the output of this square differences may be, we don't know what their value will be. So I just want to normalize it between zero and one. So I will be using CV invoke dot normalize. So this is the input that I want to normalize and I want to put the results in this 
img output norm and i want to normalize between 0 and 1 and here the normalization type that i'm going to use is the minimax and remember that the we also need to provide the type this is very important because output should be um, a double value and since uh, i may not be able to directly read this img out from mate so it is becomes easier for me to deal with it using the matrix so let me create a matrix of doubles call it matches new matrix and its size will be same as img out norm so img out norm dot size and now i can copy the img out norm into this matrix so img out norm dot copy to and inside the matches now in the form of matrix it becomes easier to reach to the values pixel values so this is where i am going to develop the logic as you know the we need some variables to store the minimum value and the maximum value which is returned by the minimax value uh, method in emguCV so i'm just going to create some uh, values with some initialized va default values and also we need two points for minimum uh, location of the minimum match and uh, the maximum match so min lock is equal to new point so we just uh, set it with default values and another point min max lock new point and now here is the important logic for the multiple matches so let me run or let me create basically a do while loop because we are now go going to perform more than one match so we are we need multiple matches so so in while minimum value is less than or equal to my threshold so this is how i will repeat until i have a matches and the minimum value because here i'm using the minimum value because i use this sum of squared differences remember uh, in in other two methods you should be using the maximum value instead of minimum so let us use cv invoke dot minimax location method and it requires the input image in this case we have the matches uh, matrix and an output variable in which it will give us the minimum value the maximum value and also the a reference of the maximum location and minimum location and the maximum location and once we get these we can display them and we need to repeat them because we need more than one uh, value this function however gives us one value that's why i am repeating it until it reads the condition so that if there are more than one matches we will display those also so we are just going to create a rectangle r is equal to a new rectangle and its first location will be the minimum location it will start at the minimum location and we need the size of the template so we will draw this rectangle so cv invoke dot rectangle and we want to show it on the img scene image and this is the rectangle and we are going to give it a color mcv scalar and let me make it like a blue one and thickness is three and and this is the important point once we have the minimum and at the location we draw the rectangle remember if we repeat it it will give us again the same value so we need to go and change that value to something else so what i'm going to do is matches dot so at these matches i will go to this location dot y this is the y represents the rows and the mean location dot x is the rows it should be equal to sorry the 
columns is equal to let me make it point 0 0.5 the reason is that since I normalize it between 0 and a 1 so uh, I don't want it to be the maximum or minimum near to that one so let me put it in the middle one so 0 0.5 so similarly for the maximum we can do the same thing for at the max location I am setting both of them to 0 0.5 and a 0.5 because I already normalized between 0 and 1 so this is important otherwise this for loop will always give us the same minimum or same maximum value at the same location okay so that is the most important point that's it so this is what it is doing the most important logic and uh, setting this value uh, will give us so the minimax will give us the minimum and a maximum value in a location and after getting it I'm just overcoming that value and by setting it to 0.5 and then we will repeat it until we have the threshold values so once we have these uh, points we can show them in the picture box dot image is equal to IMG scene dot is bitmap so let us run and check the results let us open a new image and I created an image here so let me select the flowers and there are some similar flowers let me select an ROI so I want to find the template matching and I use get so this is what I am going to search template match in a multi object so this is you can see that we have multiple instances of the same flower and now we are detecting all those instances let me change it to let's say one to make sure that uh, it is going to be one so file open a new image so let me select the again the ROIs and this time I'm going to search for this flower and let us select get region of interest and now I do multi object detection of oh, perfect so you can see that we just changed uh, a little bit into this template match and now it is going to detect multiple objects I hope this one is more useful for you and hope to see you in another video